Welcome to the Valerie Show. Please be seated, everyone. Hi, I'm Dr. Valerie Myers. I work at Johnson Space Center in the Space Life Sciences Division for Wiley Laboratories. And I'm here because I'm interested to see how the Arctic impacts stress and immunity. So we see in spaceflight that the astronauts uh, actually have a suppressed immune system. And to date, that hasn't been a major problem. However, our microbiology group has noticed that viruses that live in the body, like the chickenpox virus, are actually detectable in the saliva of crew members when they have been in space for a period of time. They've also noted this in some other analogs uh, and so we're interested to see if those changes are happening here as well. And we want to be sure that we can combat this when we think about long duration flights to places like Mars. So basically I'm collecting two sets of samples from some volunteers up here who are here for the full field season. Uh, we're collecting both saliva and blood and doing analyses on those. So the saliva is collected in tubes that look like this. Basically all people have to do is take out the cotton swab that's in the tube, uh, completely wet it with saliva, and then replace it in the tube. We'll take these back to Johnson Space Center. Uh, they'll be centrifuged to separate out the saliva, and our microbiology group there will look to see whether or not uh, viruses are actually present in the saliva because the immune system has been suppressed. The other thing that we're doing is collecting blood. and. We're analyzing the blood on two instruments that were generously loaned. Uh, the first is a flow cytometer. Uh, it's a C6 portable cytometer that was loaned by Accury Cytometers. And basically this machine will take blood samples. Um, you can label cells with antibodies. And then uh, the cells are placed through this machine one at a time. A laser is shined through the, the fluorescent antibody tag and we can detect them on this computer here. So we look for a specific population of cells, which are T cells in this case. We stain them with an antibody that's green that lets us know that we have found the T cells. And then we stain them with an antibody that's red that is a surface marker that I'm looking for to see whether or not it changes with stress. So basically we're looking for this population that's dual stain, both the green and the red. The second instrument we have is a spectrophotometer that was loaned by Biotech. And we use this to measure protein levels in the blood, uh, in the serum, both cortisol levels as well as soluble uh, proteins that are on the surface of these cells. So we're looking forward to a great field season and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.